Welcome to JSA TV Live, where we are bringing you all of the latest and greatest news right here live from the show floor of Yada. And we are kicking things off today. They just opened up the doors, and I'm super excited to kick off JSA TV with our very first guest. We have Anthony Emilio with B&J Industries. Thank you so much for joining us. It's lovely to be here, Keely. And you are not only a first-time Yada attendee, but first time on JSA. So welcome again. Thank you very much. I appreciate being here. <laughs> well, since you are new to uh, to us and to our viewers, can you just start off by telling us a little bit about B&J and what you guys do? So B&J is a major scale manufacturer. Uh, anything that's sheet metal or uh, uh, CNC machine metal, we take care of. So obviously, if you're over here at a show where you have a lot of uh, electronics computer equipment, you have to have something to put it into. Right. Well, that's what we make. It's a very important piece of data centers, absolutely. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, the box is something that people tend to overlook, but it's very important to us, and it's very important to those who want to have a quality product and a quality presentation. Absolutely. And we were talking earlier not only about the quality that you're able to offer, but one of the things that sets you apart from some competitors is your ability to really customize and build for what is actually needed um, because everybody has a case-by-case -case basis, right? That's right. Although there are some standards in the industry, the biggest problem that we run into is a lot of people have their own particular metrics. And so it's convenient for them to have a place where they can get their engineering, prototyping, and manufacturing done all under one roof. So if you have something that's off the shelf, we can provide that. But if you would rather have something completely unique that just has your stamp on it, we'll do that for you too. And we can deliver it as quickly and as efficiently as we can anything that you would buy off the shelf. Yeah. And talking about that speed of delivery, uh, you're also, you're growing a lot. Yes, and so much. that is a, a very good challenge is to be able to meet that need quickly. So you're, you're adding across the country to be able to meet that a little bit more too, right? That's right. So we are based out of Sparks, Nevada, uh, but we have just leased a new building in Sparks, which is basically doubling our capacity. And we're currently looking at buying a, uh, a building nearby that's uh, nearly 200,000 square feet in size. But we have also just come back from Texas where we're looking at another building there and uh, we are opening offices in Atlanta and in the Bay Area soon as well. Wow, yeah, you're hitting some of the top markets, a lot going on absolutely in the Bay Area in Texas. Well, we wanna be able to make sure that people understand that we're as accommodating to their needs as any company can be. Essentially, if you have a specific component or product that you intend to mass produce and you want somebody to design it uh, or work with your design engineers to help design it so that it is as manufacturable as affordably as possible, we can do that. We can prepare the prototypes and then we can put it into full scale manufacturing in the same building. Yeah. Let's talk for just a moment about AI, artificial intelligence. We're at Yada. We're going to be hearing a lot about it for a couple of days now. But that you were sharing years. is, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, days and beyond, I should say. So, but that is one of the biggest things driving the growth for your company, right? And, and for many others. That Absolutely. Uh, we cover a variety of different sectors, including transportation, energy, consumer electronics. The medical industry is one of our hugest customers as well. But the vast majority of the growth we've experienced lately, I would say perhaps 60% of our business now is all based on the explosion of AI technology. The need for data centers is growing more and more and companies like ourselves are in a very fortunate place because we're located in areas where there's still power available to be able to build your data centers and land. So uh, it's it's been a blessing for us. Yeah. Well, what's coming up next that you uh, would like to give our viewers a sneak peek of? Well, uh, this is our first appearance at Yada, but we will be uh, at next year's event and we will be at uh, additional data center events around the country soon, where we're gonna be uh, launching a few new OEM products, uh, which are rather exciting coming down the pike. And um, we are uh, launching a new engineering services program as well. So for people who are looking for outsourcing some of their engineering, uh, we are going to be offering that on a full-time basis soon. Okay. Well, we will keep an eye on you. Thank you so much for stopping by JSA TV, and we'll hope to have you back again soon if you're going to be at another industry event. 
Thank you, Keely. All right. And thank you very much to our viewers for tuning in to JSA TV. Stick around. We have a lot more to come live from Yada. In the meantime, everyone, happy networking.